everybody, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a craft out of things you hopefully have around your house. So to get started today, you're going to need some construction paper, um, some scissors, some tape or glue, um, a pen or pencil, whatever you like to color with, like crayons or markers, and if you have any um, little poof balls or pom poms, whatever you want to call these, you can use those, but they're not necessary for this craft, you do not have to have them. And out of all of these things, I'm going to be showing you how to make a handprint flamingo. So to get started, you need your construction paper. Um, you can pick whatever color you want. I chose pink because it's a flamingo, but you absolutely do not have to have a pink flamingo. Your flamingo can be whatever color you want it to be. But once you've got your construction paper, you are just going to lay your hand flat on the piece of paper. And you're just going to trace your hand, kind of like your palm print. <laughs> um... If this is a little difficult, you can always ask someone for help, but you're just tracing your hand. Alright, and once you've done that, you're going to cut your hand print out, and you will end up with something like this. And that is going to be the body for your flamingo. So now that you've done that, your flamingo still needs some legs. So you are just going to um, take the end of your construction paper here, because we don't want to be wasteful. And you'll just cut that down like this. And that's what I used for um, the legs for my flamingo. And your legs can be however you want them to be, um, as skinny as you want. Uh, but then I just took that long strip and cut it again, and now I have two legs. Um, if you wanted your flamingo to kind of look like mine, where it's standing on one leg, and it's got one leg up like that, um, you're just going to give your flamingo a knee. <laughs> so you'll just take your little strip of paper and you'll cut it again. And you'll just glue it together like this. And now you've got like a little knee um, for your flamingo. So it looks like it's standing on one leg. All right. So now that we've made legs for our flamingo, um, your flamingo still needs a face. So we've got to create something like that. So to me, this just kind of looks like a question mark. Um, without the dot underneath um, but your flamingo can look however you want so it does not the neck and face does not have to look like mine but once I had the um, neck for my flamingo I went ahead and drew him a little face on there so I just drew him a little eye and I drew his little beak on there and I just colored that yellow and once you've gotten everything for your flamingo like his face and his legs you'll want to glue or tape those on to the back of your hand print there and last but not least, I decided to add some little pom-poms for my flamingo to look like feet. Um, if you don't have them, that's not a big deal. You can like color the bottom of your flamingo's legs to look like feet. Or you don't have to do anything. Your flamingo doesn't have to have anything on the bottom of his feet. Alright, and there you have it. I hope this was not too complicated and I hope it was fun. Um, for the craft videos, we're now offering these crafts as take and make, so if maybe you didn't have something for this craft and you'd still like to make it, um, you can call the library to do a curbside pickup like you do for books, and we can get you a take and make of this craft. Um, it is a limited supply, however, so once we're out, we are out. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you can call the library and we will try to get you one. Um, we also will start offering crafts for um, kits for next week's craft, too. So you can always call us and see what kits we have available for take and make, okay? All right. Thanks, guys.